Well, as parents, we know how quickly our children grow, slowly becoming independent. We teach them about responsibility and what that means, but it is a process. So when do we know when they might be ready to stay home alone? Maybe not for several days over Christmas, like the famous movie, right? But maybe just a few hours. Here with some tips is Shelly Parham, Chief Executive Officer with the Boys and Girls Club of Elizabethton and Carter County. Great to have you. Thank you for having me. We're this excited is kind of one here. of those subjects that, you know, it's hard for parents. You yes. don't want to do it too soon, but you don't want to do it too late either. That's true. And as a mom of three, I went through this, so I, you know, I, I feel like it, it is an important subject, and it is one that I think a lot of our parents, whether they're single moms, single dads, or working households that are just kind of trying to you know balance it all yeah. um, when is the right time for your child to stay at home is a great question um, there aren't very many states that have a state law about that age um, Tennessee is one of those states that doesn't however um, the Department of Children and Family Services recommends that no younger than 10 and I think 10 is a bit young um, if they're watching a sibling no younger than 13 or 14 um, so there are some things that parents can keep in in mind when they're trying to make this decision that's nice that they put out a number so you have I mean maybe your child's not ready quite yet but at least you have something to kind of go by a good little guide exactly and the guide is important I think I think what else you need to consider when you're you know you know your child better than anyone and what's their maturity level um, I can have a, a far more mature 10 year old than my 14 year old and vice versa so keeping their maturity and their responsibility level in mind is important and then the other thing is that emotional part what's their anxiety level when they're left alone do they handle it well or or does it make them very anxious and this it might not go as well as we, we would hope um, so keeping that in mind is important and then there are some things that parents can do you know a, a kind of a checklist um, to help their child in this process process. Okay, and I like checklists because I can just write it down I'm and we can check the box That's and see. Me. Yes. That's so me what are all some day of long. those? Um, have a, um, one of the things that I think is really important is we've become very dependent on our cell phones. Yes. So having that written list or a printed list of phone numbers that are important, your cell phone numbers, your work numbers, a neighbor's number, grandma's number, those numbers printed and put someplace in a, in a visual spot um, is a good tip um, so that if needed, um, you know, it's there. Uh, also, making sure that your young person who's going to stay at home has some type of a device or cell phone where they can call those numbers or reach somebody, as well as 911 if it's needed. And Hopefully that's so it important. Be. I didn't even think of that. But yes, I mean, they've got to have something to reach out because we all have our phones with us, and a lot of people don't have that landline anymore. Exactly. So that would be, you know, and 10 is young to have a phone. So just having that stay at home phone even is, is important. Um, identifying someone nearby like a neighbor or a relative that if for me when my kids were growing up I worked pretty far away from from home so I always had when they were at the age to stay at home alone um, a neighbor who knew they might be at home alone and could kind of keep an eye out um, so having that person it was also someone they knew they could go to if they needed you know some help with something and then, of course, kind of those common sense things, the rules at home. Right. Um, maybe once they get home, they stay home. Um, no right. guests are allowed. Locking the doors, not using the stove. Um, what are some of the things you'd like them to do while they are home alone? It is a responsibility. It's a privilege that comes with responsibility. Mm -hmm. So do you want them to be doing homework and chores? Are they allowed on a device? Are they allowed on a game console or TV? You know, just kind of talking about those things that are important, um, especially if it's, you know, after school time, probably the span of time isn't going to be so long. Right. Um, but, you know, if we get into longer periods of time, really mapping that out for you and your child is important. All right. Great information and at least starting that conversation and yeah. having that and yes. Good stuff. All right, we're going to have you back, right? I hope come so. Join us I hope so. If you would like more information, of course, she is with the Boys and Girls Club, and there is that information if you want to get a hold of their website or get a hold of them for more community resources. We'll be right back.